Houston has not officially been called to order, just a heads up. How yeah. many people are uh, delegates? I'm just curious. 15. Oh, 15. Okay, so there's 12 now. So. Yeah, so they're not all delegates. For, um, no, but not, not counting Lucy or Eloisa, so. Um, okay. We do not live. I, I do not live in the district, and Lucy is not a delegate. No, okay, no, it really wasn't. So we're missing six. Oh, wait, yeah, okay. You could, that's fine. Yeah, we're, we're four minutes it's early. Still four minutes ahead. It's, yeah, yeah, it's not oh, even it's it's yeah. Okay. So we'll wait for you know we should wait till at least five yeah. after. Yep. Six, you know, mm -hmm. six forty-five at least to give. Yeah, you just keep in track. Oh, yeah. Good. Are you going to take cool. a holiday after this, Louisa? Joanne changed. <laughs> we have a new Joanne on. Hi, hi, hi Lucy. Hi, hi everybody. Yeah, the Jeff. <laughs> I just got done chairing um, Dominique Johnson's convention, and uh, she's the nominee. So now it's uh, Lucy's turn uh, to round out the trifecta here before we get into the other two conventions. But congratulations, Lucy. I know it's going to go great for you. And uh, my parents made dinner tonight for Ryan and me, so that's why I'm here. Um, well, what's for dinner? It's macaroni. <laughs> How many pizza? <laughs> what? Uh, macaroni. Macaroni. Okay. Italian Joanne. Add some sauce. All right. We have a good, a good convention. Good luck, Lucy. And uh, she's going to win by landslide. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Sorry, I had a naughty puppy here who was being a little honorary, so she's been relegated to her cage right now. <laughs> you have a new dog? Oh, no, it's the same two. Oh, okay. I well, call I her I my could... puppy. She's just... Uh, They're always she's... puppies. Yeah, she's the naughty puppy, we call her. I so promise I guess you I could... beautiful problem. Sorry. I was going to say, I guess I could have done the this convention on my Zoom after all. <laughs> I was going to say that Frida will probably take a good moment to interrupt the convention at some point. <laughs> That's all right. Dogs are allowed to interrupt the convention. Is your son I, still rowing, Lucy? He is. He He's is? at Mar Maritime in Norwalk. So Really? Yeah. That's great. My daughter's going to come in June, and I hope that they can get together. Oh, that would be great. That would be yeah. great, Kate. I'll let you know. Yes, please do let me know. We've got um, nationals coming up in a couple of weeks. So he's super excited about that. And yeah. he's at practice now. So you'll hear the dogs again in about 10 minutes when he gets home from practice. <laughs> hey, Kate, you know that uh, Mary Ellen rows every morning? Yes, I know. I know she does. Uh, yeah. My daughter's a super rower who wins all kinds of gold medals in all kinds of countries. And uh, she loves to meet other rowers who are enthusiastic about it. They're a, they're a sort of a kind of a specialized group who all instantly connect. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be sure you knew Mary Ellen was one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, maybe we can all get together uh, in mm. some kind of an outdoor um, uh, place in a month or six weeks. We should work on that. Mm. Right. Well, we all we can, need a break. And we, and we can talk about anything but politics. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to talk about anything but politics anymore. So. I know. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, thank you for your um, your information. I, I appreciated that. I think I sent you an email. Okay, one more minute to this uh, to be started. Are you this feel, Kim? Are you are you okay with the COVID? Ken? Oh, he's he's quarantined in the spare bedroom. <laughs> oh, really? yeah, <clears throat> I'm getting through it. Good. He, just, he has a a sore throat and a cough. Oh, so but I, you don't have it, Deb? No, I I tested negative. Every day? Tested, well, actually, I didn't. Why well, let yesterday? I tested negative yesterday and then in the morning and then I in the afternoon I went to um, Lockwood Matthews Mansion and got a PCR test. So I'm waiting for that. So I figure, you know, what's the point of testing me? You know, I'm going to, you know, get that. Oh, yeah, because you have a PCR. Yeah. Hopefully that will come and tomorrow. And I tested negative Saturday 
Sunday and Monday. It didn't test positive until Tuesday, which mm. it's just like a head cold. It's, it's, I'll get through it. Ed, where did you go for your PCR test? I went to um, Lockwood Matthews Mansion. All right. That's what I sent you, Tina. The, those, I'm um, I just wanted to know, like, you know, if I, I, I'm going to go tomorrow. I was the I'm only. I'm going to go tomorrow I, too. I have to tell you, I show. I got there right at two, and because it's two to five. I, I, although what's tomorrow's Thursday? Yeah, so it's on. Yeah, it was, it's on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I got there at two o'clock. I was the only person there, so it was very quick. My mom said that too when she went a couple last week or something. It was quick, but it's uh, six thirty-one. So I'm gonna stop talking now. Galen, it's your show. Have fun. <laughs> well, let's wait a minute and and give people more. You know, oh, that's they, true. There still is people um, to come on. Oh, that's true. Every a lot of people got on early, which is which is good. Um, that's which great. is good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But let's wait just two minutes and then yeah, I'm looking at the attendance to see who we're missing. Uh, What's a quorum? Galen, how many are uh, there? There is no quorum. No it's quorum. Oh, okay. Delegates present in voting, you have to have more than 50%. Yeah. Are we have more than 50%? Anybody, anybody that's there? No, you have to be registered. <laughs> yeah, but anybody's registered. I see a lot of people who were there. at that meeting. Sherry, hey, and Lucia. Yes. It was great. Yeah. It was good. It was a good Bob, meeting. Yeah, Bob Duff's meeting, which, which was good press. Funny. Yeah. I think everybody's here except is there a, there's a proxy for Josh, right? Is it Josh K's proxy on? Oh, yes. Megan. Yeah, here. I'm here. Megan. Megan's here. Okay. Okay, we'll we'll get started. Uh and um my name is Galen Wells and I'm the temporary chair for this convention. And I now hereby call to order the con nominating convention for the recording in progress. <laughs> for the uh, House seat in the 142nd District. Uh, I now appoint a temporary secretary for this convention, Pat Tinto. Okay. So I'll read the call to the convention. Um, as an elected delegate, you are requested to join this convention for the following purposes. To endorse a candidate for State House District 142, to transact such other businesses as may be proper to come before the convention. Today, the date is May 11, 2022, time 6.30 p.m. Location is not the Norwalk City Hall Council Chambers, but on Zoom. And our temporary chair is Galen Wells. If you require a proxy, I guess we already took care of that. And that's it. So at this point, I guess I can call the uh, hold a roll. Yes. Yes. Okay. So Joshua K. We have a proxy for Joshua. Yes, yes I am here. And that's Megan. Okay. Um, Nick Matrakis. Matrakis. Present. Thank you. Uh, Deb Diorenzo. Present. Okay. Ken Diorenzo. Present. So Erica De Palma, we have a proxy. Is that Lucia? Are you the proxy for Erica? Lucia. <laughs> yes, she is. She Lucia is here. And yes, I am a proxy for Erica De Palma. Thank you very Great. much. Thank you. Thank um, you. Bruce Duff. Here. He's here. Okay. Here. All right. All right. Okay. And Joanne Duff. Here. And uh, Tina Dorier. I'm here. Mary Ellen Flaherty Ludwig. I'm here. Okay. Scott Kinnich. Here. Sherry McCready Brown. Here. Okay. Kate Tepper. Here. And that's me, Pat Tinto. Galen Wells. Here. And Stuart Wells. Okay. Here. All right. Great. So we have 100% attendance. We have 15 delegates um, here and ready to go. <laughs> delegates present and voting. Okay, the next uh, the next uh, thing on our agenda is the election of a permanent chair. Do I hear any nominations for permanent chair? I'm honored to uh, nominate Galen Wells as the permanent chair. Um, Galen's been my friend and my mentor for well over 20 years. <laughs> he was always there to answer my mostly dumb questions about uh, 
Nork, its structure and its um, politics. Her encouragement and support has enabled many, so many of us to find the courage to run for public office. She serves and has served on more committees, local and state, than I can even count. And as former chair of the DTC, was indefatigable in increasing voter turnout, membership, and fundraising. Galen brought all these qualities to her longtime tenure as chair and co-chair of District E. Her dedication to public service is truly amazing, and frankly, I've no idea how she does it, and ends up with a smile on her face at the end of the day. <laughs> I can't think of anyone who is more qualified and experienced to fill this post and keep the flag of dem democracy flying. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. <laughs> is, there, is there a second? Scott? I'll second it. Okay, good. <laughs> Any further nominations? Any further nominations? Any further nominations? Hearing none, we will cast, I will instruct the secretary to cast a single vote for Galen Wells as permanent uh, chair. And next we need to nominate a permanent secretary. Are there any nominations for permanent secretary? Uh, I nominate Pat Tinto. Thank you. Oh, a second. <laughs> okay. okay. Any further nominations? <laughs> any further nominations? Any further nominations? Hearing none, we will cast, the secretary will cast a single ballot for Pat Pinto as a permanent secretary. The next order of business is a nomination of a, our candidate for the House seat in the 142nd district. Are there any nominations for the House seat in the 142nd district? Mary Ellen? I am excited and honored to nominate for re-election Lucy Dathan for our state representative. Hey. Who doesn't love Lucy? <laughs> they all she do. has many sterling qualities. I'm going to talk about two. Compassion and financial know-how. You could find Lucy organizing food um, and clothing drives, just as well as you could find Lucy going through the Connecticut budget line by line. Who does that? Someone <laughs> like Lucy with an understanding. I find that combination of compassion and financial know-how really powerful. I come from an Irish Catholic family and lots of brothers and sisters, cousins and nieces. And in our family, those that leaned left went into fields like medicine and teaching and sciences. Those that lean right, we have a lot of them, went into finance and banking and corporate law with acquisitions and a divide. And here we have a Democrat who has that powerful combination of understanding the finance and is compassionate. And I am so excited to nominate Lucy Dathan. Yay. Yay. <laughs> yes, yay. Indeed. Is there a second? I would like to second the nomination of Lucy Dathan. Um, I have known Lucy for, I guess, four years now. It seems a lot longer. But I wanted to share a story about what an extraordinary public servant Lucy is. And I think we often lose sight of the fact that politicians are public servants. And that is this story kind of illustrates how Lucy is one of those public servants. And she takes that idea of service to her community to heart. In the early days of COVID, uh, the former resident of the White House made a statement that hydroxychloroquine was some miracle cure for COVID. Um, now, that didn't affect very many people. However, my mother has a very severe autoimmune disease, and one of the medicines she relies on 
to help treat that disease is hydroxychloroquine. Um, because of his statement online, within a day, the supply of the drug was almost gone everywhere. No one had hydroxychloroquine. And in a panic, because my mother was going to run out in about, I think, a week or 10 days, I called a, a couple of people, but one of the people I called was Lucy. Lucy moved, I don't know what she did, but within, I think, 24 hours, my mother had her hydroxychloroquine, and we didn't have to experience the gap in coverage for my mother's treatment. And I think that that is very representative of the kind of extraordinary public servant Lucy is. She does it without looking for any sort of accolades. She does it because it is her nature and she comes to the rescue again and again. I can't tell you how many times in 2018 when Lucy was first running, I'd be driving down West Norwalk Road or somewhere and I'd see a bright spotted pink on the side of the road. <laughs> and, and that was Lucy walking door to door, making sure she reached, I'm pretty sure almost every constituent whether they were Republican or Democrat or independent, uh, she made sure that they felt that she wanted their vote, regardless if they were not going to vote for her or not, and that they were heard and seen, and that she would help them even if they didn't vote for her. And that is the kind of public servant Lucy is. And um, I would be remiss in not saying that she is also endorsed by my dog, Frida, who loves her. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to tell a little funny story in closing, and I'm, some of you may have already heard this. Uh, someone asked me at the beginning of the year if I would consider running for the 141st Street, the seat, um, Terry Wood seat, because I was in her district. And so I was like, well, you know, I don't want to run for that seat, but I'd really think I should probably consider it for once. So, of course, the first person I reached out to to ask their opinion was my good friend Lucy. And I texted her and I said, I'm thinking of running for state rep. What do you think? And she replies, are you, are you going to primary me? <laughs> <laughs> because I had been luckily redistricted into her district. And once again, Lucy came to the rescue because I really didn't want to run. Um, but I felt I had to at least consider it. And thanks to the wonderful, wonderful redistricting, I am so honored and grateful to go from having a Republican state rep who lied about whether or not I actually sent her a letter about a piece of legislation to having someone with the integrity and compassion and the true commitment to public service that is our good friend, Lucy Dathan. Yes. Mm. Yes, indeed. Are there any further nominations? Are there any further nominations? Are there any further nominations? Hearing none, Lucy is endorsed by the Democratic Party by acclaim, and the secretary will cast a single vote for Lucy Dathan. Woohoo! Do you accept our, our nomination? I wholeheartedly accept your nomination. I'm delighted. Um, thank you all so much. First of all, thank you for stepping up and choosing to be delegates, taking part in uh, democracy here on the 11th of May. It uh, really is heartwarming that you've um, taken time out of your schedules to do that. And um, thank you for the kind words. Um, it's really lovely um, to hear from you, Mary Ellen. That was a, 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 a sweet uh, nomination. And Tina, of course, sweet nomination as well. Thank you so much. I was hoping for a little bark from Frida, also giving her endorsement <laughs> for another day. Um, it's been an absolute honor and pleasure to have represented you for the last three and a half years. It's been an amazing experience and I've learned so much along the way. Um, again, thank you so much for your support this evening and um, giving me the nomination for the 142nd district. And I just wanted to say, uh, as Tina kind of talked a little bit about my campaigning, I really love campaigning and I um, know how important it is because um, when you are campaigning, you're really talking to your future constituents, the voters. And I have uh, chosen to do that via door knocking. And um, 
I've knocked, you know, up to five thousand over five thousand doors in previous cycles. And with twenty five percent of my district is new this year um, with the the redistricting, which is done on a bipartisan basis. I'll just add that in. Um, it is I have over twenty, you know, twenty five percent of my district is new. So it's, you know, a couple thousand doors. So I'm going to be focusing on engaging those voters in the next few weeks so I can get out. Um, meet the new um, the the new people in my district, and so I can understand um, what's important to them. Because as I've said in the past, I really can't under represent you properly up in Hartford if I don't know what's important to you here in Norwalk and New Canaan. Um, and so I'm looking forward to those voter engagements over the coming weeks, and then over the summer and the next six months, I will also be um, talking and engaging to, um, voters at their doors and, and talking to people. Um, and it's just such a vital part of the campaign and really um, gets people excited to vote for you as well. Um, I wanted to thank everybody again and just say um, how much of an honor it is to represent you in Hartford. I love being there. I love my job. I love sitting on appropriations. I love sitting, going through the budget on a line by line basis, even up to 2.30 in the morning, which has uh, happened several times over the last few months. And, uh, you know, I love the human services working and uh, ensuring that um, we, we focus on our safety net in our state. And then my other passion is insurance and ensuring that we can um, have better health care um, for the folks here in our state and have uh, more affordable health care, most importantly. So thank you again. I'm looking forward to um, representing you um, in the next uh, session starting in January. So hopefully I have people helping me with the campaign this summer. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Absolutely. Thank you, Lucy. Oh, Lucy, Thank good you. job. Okay. All right. Well, the business of this convention has been completed. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? You do. Yeah, read a motion to adjourn. <laughs> okay. Yes. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. aye. Okay, congratulations. Recording stopped. This Thank you again. convention is adjourned. Bye, Lucy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Congratulations. Congrats, Lucy. Congratulations. Congrats. 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 He's such a nice man.